You've got mail. You've got mail. Welcome, pile number one. This will be your return to sender reading. If you've done a return to sender, whether that's through candle work, through prayer, through meditation, however you believe in your return to sender, however you practice it, this is going to be what's going on, the results of your return to sender, or what is going on if this is something you've prayed about. Um, how is this return to sender, like the outcome of it, okay? So pile number one, this is going to be your reading. We have seven of wands. This person is having to compete for something. They're having to defend themselves and they're having to compete or they're having to protect themselves uh, from competition or they're being forced to compete for something um, or either they're having to defend themselves. I'm hearing for some of you, this person could be on trial for something. For someone very specific, this person could be having to defend themselves in a courtroom. Okay, they could be on trial for something um, now or in the future. That message is not for everyone, though. Um, but for others of you, they could just be trying to defend themselves regarding a situation um, because they're looking quite guilty in something here. We have judgment. Wow. Wow, seven of wands and judgment. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually like a legal situation or like a courtroom issue type of thing going on for some of you. Um, but for others of you, this is like judgment from their family or judgment from their job or judgment from like their peers or their friends or their lover or something. Um, and they're having to defend themselves because they're looking guilty here we have four of cups this is somebody they're not happy they're not happy with what life has to offer them this person is not happy at all they're not happy about the situation that they're in they're not happy about the options that they have regarding handling this situation. Yeah, they may have certain options they could have regarding handling this situation. Or I'm also hearing certain lies. Like they're trying to figure, I'm hearing like plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. Like none of their plans are working out. None of their backup plans are working out. We have King of Wands. This person could be a fire sign, okay? This could be a masculine fire sign or either a feminine fire sign who's in her masculine energy. Or this could be a man and a woman together. come out look and get that back in the deck all right we have the hermit okay you could be a virgo you don't have to be though this is somebody they could be um being a recluse at this time you may not be seeing this person much okay uh you may not be seeing a lot of this person they could have like kind of ghosted, not you, but just like people in general. I feel like this is somebody who's ghosted people. They're not really like showing their face um, or they're not like posting as much or something or they're not coming around as much. 
because they're trying to figure out how to get out of this whether it's a get out of a legal situation or get out of some sort of situation where they look guilty in something um this could have been guilty in something that they've done to you or towards you okay we have the high priestess and we have justice wow I just saw a van drive by. It says Jackson. Okay, somebody's name could be Jackson or that could be like a location. Um, it was like a blue van. That was random. Um, or a blue van could be significant to someone here. Uh, we have the high priestess and justice. You, you are the high priestess and you are getting justice in this situation most definitely. Um, this could be spiritual justice. This could be justice in a courtroom. So different messages for different people. There's some sort of consequences. Like this person is dealing with heavy consequences. You have justice and the judgment card. And this person is in a seven of wands energy where they're having to be defensive or they're having to defend themselves or they're having to protect themselves. Or for some of you, people could be trying to compete with this person or this person feels like they have to compete for something. I don't know. Maybe for some of you, this person is trying to compete with other people over this King of Wands for some of you. This King of Wands could be like a love interest. It could be a family member. It could be a, a boss giving a job opportunity. I mean, this could be anything. So definitely different scenarios for different people. Remember to take what resonates and to leave what doesn't, okay? All right, we have the sun. Okay, you could be a Leo or a Leo could be involved in this situation. Um, Justice is Libra, so you could be a Libra. You are going to have success in this situation. I feel like you're going to have the more successful outcome in this situation. <clears throat> you have the blood of Faye, okay? Um, some of you, if you look in your ancestry or if you look up your surname, last names of whether it's your last name or your parents or your grandparents' last name, something like that, some of you are going to find, or some of you already know this, that you have a Fey bloodline, okay? Some of you may even have, um, family castles in like Scotland or Ireland, for some of you okay we have two of cups for some of you this person is gonna have something go wrong with their appearance okay they're gonna do they're doing something for their appearance regarding love like okay so for some of you this person is in competition with another woman over this king of wands and i feel like she's or whoever this is, this could be a man too, I don't know, but this, this man or woman is in competition with someone else for this king of wands, okay? And this person is going to be doing something cosmetically to themselves. This could be plastic surgery, this could be injections, this could be um, a new haircut, a, a hair dye, something, you know, um, some sort of surgery, something this person is trying to do something in order to win over this king of cups and this king of cups could be a love interest it could be a family member um it could be a boss giving a job opportunity like i said different things for different people but this person's in competition with someone else and they're trying to do things to their um appearance or their aesthetic or something and it could be going wrong here Especially if this person is trying to look like you or look like someone else in order to get this opportunity or this job or this person or this family member to favor them or something, whatever the situation is. Okay, we have the magician. If you've actually done a return to sender yourself, or if you booked someone to do a return to sender, it's hitting this person really hard. 
really, really hard because again, we do have the justice and the judgment card on the deck or on the table. Um, we have the eight of cups that flew out, the four of wands and the world. This person, the, for one, this is a confirmation that this person is not really showing their face much. Okay, this is, this eight of wands is confirming this hermit card that this person is becoming more reserved or recluse, you know, they're, they're in hermit mode. You're not really seeing this person or people are not really seeing this person. They're not really showing their face. They're not really coming around. For some of you, they may not really be showing up at work. Um, or for some of you, they may not be like posting as much or something. I just realized one of my leaves right here is kind of burnt. <laughs> probably need to stop burning candles up under here. <laughs> um, I don't know, this person, that could be symbolic. Like me noticing this just now could be symbolic. Um, this person could be feeling burnt. I mean, we do have the sun card that came out. Okay, maybe this, this person feels burnt by you or maybe they feel burnt by a Leo or they could be feeling burnt by a fire sign or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, for some of you, this person is trying to compete with you or compete with someone else regarding this Four of Wands energy, which could be family or friends. So for some of you, this person is trying to compete over, this is like getting like a father or a mother to notice them or to love them more. You know what I mean? Like someone trying to get more love and affection and support from a family member or, the, or maybe even a friend or something. Um... And for others of you, it's like a love thing or a job opportunity type of thing, okay? This person, I feel like also with the Four of Wands, this person could be, I feel like they're getting invitations to go out to parties or family reunions or they're getting invitations to come back home or to their hometown or to go to certain events or parties or something. And this person's not showing up or they're canceling or something like that with the Hermit and the eight of cups like they're not going out like maybe this is somebody who usually shows up to places or family functions or something but they're not really doing that um we have the world card i think that something about your success or you completing something because remember i said earlier that you got with that sun card i feel like you guys are going to have a successful outcome in the situation and it's because you're completing a goal or you're learning a lesson um for some of you you're just moving away from this person whether that's you moving away from them energetically or uh, whether that's you moving away from them like location wise like literally moving away from them um some of you could be traveling a lot, okay? So you're not really around because you're traveling. So different messages for different people. For some of you, this could have been like a fire sign that burnt you, okay? You could have felt burnt by a fire sign for some of you. So take the messages how they fit. All right, we have four of pentacles that came out. So this person, their greed is catching up to them. They wanted something long term. Like they were, they were competing with you or they were competing with someone else out of greed. Like I said, for some of you, they wanted this job opportunity, okay, or this promotion. Their greed is catching up on them, okay? They could be having issues with their bones or their teeth or their eyes or their fingers. I don't wish like health issues on anyone, but that, should, that is something I'm seeing for a, a few of you here. Yeah, something about their greed could be actually affecting their health. And we have the page of swords. So they're gossip. They're getting they're getting hit really hard with this return to sender because they gossip about you or they spy on you. 
something about them gossiping or spying on you. And I'm hearing it's because they want to dictate you or they want to dictate your life. Or they're gossiping or spying on you because they're bringing it back to a... For some of you... Okay. Remember how I said for some of you, they're trying to win the love, the support, their, their affection from a family member or a friend or a boss... This family member, friend, or boss has a dictator type of energy to them. And so they're spying on you and gossiping back to this family member, friend, or boss that's like a dictator and telling this person the things they're, they're finding or the things that they assume about you or think of you, you know? It's like they're spying on you and going back and gossiping to this dictator-like family, friend, or boss. Because they're hoping that they'll like win this person over or get some sort of support or love uh, from this person. For others of you, they're hoping that they'll get like some sort of money out of spying on you or gossiping on you. Like they see dollar signs if they were to do this. So this is why this justice and this judgment is hitting this person so hard. Whether it's literal, like legally, or whether this is spiritual justice, spiritual judgment. But this person is getting hit pretty heavy here. <clears throat> all right we have five of cups so i'm going to end it on this so this return to cinder um this person feels like they are losing everything or they feel like they've lost everything or they feel like they're on the road to losing everything um, this person could be feeling very unloved. For some of you, they feel unloved by this dictator-like friend, family, or boss. They feel unloved by this person, or they could feel unloved by you. Um, this person may be listening to a lot of, like, sad music or, like, emo music or something, or, um... I don't know, this person could be, like, listening to music and crying or singing and crying or... This person's haunted. I'm seeing like they're haunted by something here. Haunted by the past or I'm hearing they're haunted by the things they've said. Okay, this is somebody who's with the singing. I'm hearing somebody like somebody's like trying to sing about you for someone specific. I don't know what that's about. This person could be trying to sing about you or this is somebody who's, you know, spying on you and then singing their little gossip song to whoever this is, you know, about you or something like that. But whatever this is, is catching up to them to where they're, they're experiencing a major loss in their life, whether it's now or in the very near future. And I feel like for, if it's in the near future, they feel it coming. They know it's coming. Okay. They know it's about to hit them. And that's why they're like already sad, depressed or freaking out or isolating themselves. Okay. So I love you guys so much. That's your reading pal one. And I'll see you guys in another video. Or if you want to check out pal two or three, you're welcome to do so as well. Bye. You got welcome mail. pal number two. This is going to be your timeless reading on your return to cinder. So whether you've done a return to cinder through candle work or through meditation or through prayer, this is going to be the outcome or the results of the return to sender, okay? So let's see what comes out for pal number two. So we have four of cups. This person's depressed, they're not happy, they're not fulfilled. They're I'm hearing bored. For some of you, this person is bored. The lovers. Okay, this could be somebody who's bored in their love life. Okay, or yeah. Oh, wow. They're not happy with their love options or their love choices or they're not happy in their love life. Okay, so if they're dating multiple people, they're just not happy with those people. And if this person's in a relationship, they're not happy with that person. Yeah, the flames are dying out with something. The passion or the flames are dying out with something. The devil. <laughs> oh, wow. 
The lovers and the devil. The lovers and the devil. Wow. This person's bored because, or the fire's going out or something. I, this person has some addictions, okay? They could have some sex addictions. They could have some kinks, some fetishes that are not being, like, fulfilled or something like that. They could be having some fantasies that are not being fulfilled. And that is why this person is bored or not feeling their love life or the sparks are dying out or something like that because something's not being fulfilled. Like, this person is either a sex addict, and if not, then if they're not a sex addict, then this person has some sort of fantasies or fetishes, some kinks, something, and it's not being satisfied or it's not being fulfilled here. Could be a Capricorn involved, could be a Gemini involved. Or this could be a Capricorn or Gemini um, that this return to cinder is hitting. Or this could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a explicit reading for Paul to. Okay, if this is a woman, if this is a woman, like she's looking for something more um, downstairs in the pants region, I'm just going to be very blunt and honest, okay? If this is a woman, she's not being satisfied sexually or she's not interested in. It's, like, not enough for her. I'll just say that, okay? Like, it's not enough for her or it's not doing the job or something like that or I don't know. But she's, like, fantasizing about another man or other men or she could be talking to another man or something or thinking about this. Another man could be trying to manifest her. Or she could be trying to manifest another man. There could be got okay, there's gossip about this. Um, people could be gossiping about this person's love life, whether it's a man or a woman or both of them. Like people's gossiping about this relationship, or if this man or woman's like dating around or seeing someone or in a relationship or in a marriage or whatever this is, people are gossiping that there's like infidelity or cheating something or thoughts of it or fantasies of it or people are saying that this woman or this man looks bored or not happy or not satisfied with their options in love or with the person they're with. For some of you, this if this is a woman, um, her person, her partner could be spying on her, okay? Because he could be picking up on this energy. Or if she's dating a woman, she could be picking up on this energy. But if this is a woman, her person, her partner is picking up on the energy of her being bored. Five of Wands. Yeah, this is, there's some obstacles and some challenges going in this person's love life. Yeah, they're dealing with challenges or obstacles in their love life or issues in their love life here. And I feel like it has to do with sex. It really does. It has to do with sex. Because someone here is bored or not happy or not satisfied or something. You have five of pentacles. I feel like somebody, I feel like there's people like friends gossiping about this or family members gossiping about this. Maybe even a religious or spiritual community could be gossiping about this. A charity could be gossiping about this. A certain type of community could be gossiping about this. Because look, like, it looks like there's a group of people, like, talking about 
this girl, okay? And she looks like left out or says the bat cave. I don't know. Batman could be significant to this reading. The movies or one of the movies. Okay, this person could be usually five of pentacles I associate with like money issues okay or financial loss but I'm not really seeing that oh I'm hearing co-workers okay for some of you that's why the money is coming out because for some of you it's your co -work, like co-workers this person's co-workers could be gossiping about this six of swords Okay, this person could be relocating or moving, especially after a divorce or breakup, or if this person gets caught cheating or something. I don't know. If this person's dating people or if they're in a commitment, um, I feel like it's coming to an end and it's going to force this person to have to move or relocate, or it may force this person to have to change jobs with that Five of Pentacles. We have temperance. I usually don't read reversals, but it did come out backwards. And Spirit was telling me to actually take it that time. Um, but something's not balanced. Something's not equal or something's not fair. Something's not balanced here. This person, this woman or this man or whoever this is, they lack self-control. They lack self-control when it comes to sex. Or when it comes to fantasies or something. Or flirting. So in here, there could be a man that's a horse in Chinese Zodiac that's involved in this situation. But doesn't have to be, obviously. Um, We have Ten of Wands. Okay. Okay, if this is a man, okay, if this is a man, say this is a man and he's bored or he's not satisfied or something like that and he gets caught cheating or he gets caught flirting or he gets caught having a sex addiction or, you know, just something here. Um, he's going to be forced to have to relocate or he may be forced to change jobs because if his partner finds out, like maybe his partner is in control of the money or in control of the home, the house or something, or in control of a vehicle, something, um, you know, his partner may end up kicking him out or divorcing him or breaking up with him or something. And that's going to cause him to be in some sort of 10 of wands energy to where he has a lot of burdens, to where he has to work harder than normal, to where things don't come as easy to him uh, financially. For some of you, I could be picking up on a couple, okay? Maybe some of you did a return to sender on like two people that like date each other. Um, yeah, some of you could have done a return to sender on like a couple. Whether it's a man and woman or woman and woman or man and man, something. Like some of you, this return to sender is like hitting a couple. A wife and husband, a boyfriend, girlfriend, something. That's not for all of you though. Okay, we have two of wands. I feel like the woman, if this is a woman, the woman's trying to make a decision to like move on without her partner, without her person. She's trying to make like an exit plan or an exit strategy here. She's coming up with new ideas or a new exit strategy or something. Like she's trying to, 
she's trying to make a choice or a decision on how she's going to move out of this uh, relationship or marriage or maybe if, if this is a woman that's just dating around maybe she's trying to figure out how to like close out these options or something and move on somewhere else we have the strength card okay there could be a Leo involved in this situation for some of you this could be a Leo woman for some of you or um, I'm also hearing like a Leo man, a Leo man and his feminine energy for some of you. I feel like whatever it is, they don't want something to get out. They don't want this gossip to get out. They do not want this gossip to get out. They don't like people gossiping about them or something like that. They're trying to keep people's mouths closed. They're scared they're going to lose people's love or lose people's respect. Okay, the more people talk about this or the more people gossip about this, they're, they're worried about losing respect and love from people. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. For some of you, they... Um, don't want this gossip to get back to a boss. For others of you, um, I'm hearing if this is a man, if this is a man I'm picking up on, he has invested a lot of money. He's invested a lot of finances into dating this person or being in a relationship or marriage with this person and he's going to lose it's going to be like a bad investment like he's going to lose everything and it's going to put him in this ten of wands energy because he sacrificed a lot and invested a lot in this relationship or this marriage or these options that he has and he's gonna they're gonna walk away from him and they're taking something with them that's going to put him in a burden type of energy where he loses. I feel like he's going to lose money or finances or a property, house, a vehicle, assets, something. He's going to be taking a big loss because of this breakup, divorce, or having his options walk away from him or something like that. Okay. So, uh, pile number two is definitely a love reading. It's either a love reading or this is a return to sender. On somebody that's in a relationship or marriage or this could be a return to center on a actual like couple so that is your reading I love you guys so much I hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to like comment subscribe down below it helps out the channel you're welcome to check out pile one or pile three if not I'll check you out guys or choke if I can talk I'll check you guys out in another video love you guys so much bye You've Welcome to pile number three. If you chose this pile, this is going to be your timeless reading on your return to sender. So this is the results, the outcome of your return to sender, whether you use candle work, whether you use prayer or meditation, however you practice or do or believe in your return to sender, this is the outcome, the results of that. So please, pile number three, spirit, what is the outcome for the return to sender for pile number three? <clears throat> somebody is like evil eye in this person's creations or projects i'm seeing like evil eye attacking this person like this person's being attacked by a lot of evil eye here this person could be being attacked by magic or this could be somebody if not this could have been someone that was evil eyeing or attacking your creations things you were trying to complete things you were trying to create this this could have been people or a person that was evil eyeing or putting magic on these things, okay? Or either this person, um, their creations or their goals or something could be being evil eyed or be have magic being put on it or something. Um, we have the Ace of Swords. 
Man, the truth coming out. Okay, something about the truth is coming out about who this person really is. This person does a lot of projecting. They try to hide themselves by proje uh, projecting or talking about other people or by projecting or by talking about others or like this is somebody I could see you guys like get into an argument with this person and then they just like project, turn it around on you or something or project it around back onto you or something weird like that. This person could have pink hair for someone specific. They could have pink hair, they could have purple hair, they could have black hair. Tower, uh oh. Someone here could have like those um, black and white uh, checkered floors or tiles in their house. Where right when I said that somebody honked their horn outside. There could be a tower moment regarding um, something to do with their home. This person could be a rabbit in Chinese Zodiac. I'm seeing a rabbit. This person could have been trying to use you for finances or for money. Or this person was trying to work with you. Or this person could have been a coworker or is a coworker. Or they were trying to collaborate with you or something. Or they did. Someone here plays the keyboard or piano. Someone could be going to jail. Four of Pentacles. Yes. Yeah, so when I said that, somebody could be going to jail for their greed or for a money situation. This could be actual literal jail or this could be spiritual jail, but this person feels caged or stuck or imprisoned. And that is their tower moment. And it's because of money or greed or trying to take your money or something or something involving a financial situation. Right when I said that, I looked up and it said 444. We have 10 of swords. Man, the tower and the ten of swords. This is this is bad. Like this is really bad. This is like a complete ending. Oh my god, right when I said that, it's the world. It's literally a complete ending. It is a complete ending here. And ten of swords is just confirming that. Okay, a painful rock bottom type of moment. Someone could wear red shoes or drive a blue car. I was picking up a blue van and another one, and now I'm picking up on a blue SUV or like a blue like hatchback or something. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles, or someone could wear a lot of blue, or this person's favorite color could be blue or something. Yeah, this person was trying to have like a new beginning with money. Or they were trying to have a new beginning by taking your money or using you for money or taking or using someone else for money, someone you may know. Or maybe they were trying to get a new beginning at, at their job 
or with a business and it's not working out, it failed. Okay, we have the three of wands. Yeah, this is somebody that worked with you. This is somebody that like worked. This could be a coworker and an old coworker, a current coworker. This could, could be somebody that you collaborated with or somebody that wanted to co collaborate with you. Um, interesting. Or this person could have had a business or you could have, you both could have had a business, okay? For some of you, you traveled with this person or this person wanted to travel with you. So different messages for different people. I'm hearing don't tread on me. Like this is making me think of that don't tread on me uh, flag. That could be significant to this reading somehow. Maybe this person was like trying to walk all over you or, you know, control you or something or control your money or control a financial situation regarding you. Wow, we have the hangman. Yeah, this person's stuck. I'm telling you, the hangman, the tower where this person's head, this person could even be stuck in their head, stuck in their thoughts. Okay, they could be having really bad thoughts. They could be thinking really bad things about themselves or their life, okay? I'm hearing for some of you, like this this hit this person because of something regarding money, but I also feel like for some of you, this person was like preying on your downfall or they were evil eyeing you, hoping you would, you know, have some sort of downfall here. And it's because they felt like they couldn't siphon your money or use you for money or collaborate with you for money or something like that, okay? This person's feeling stuck. They're refusing to like, see the bigger picture of this or they're refusing to see a different side of this or a different perspective of this like they're keeping their eyes closed to the situation they're like refusing to see what they've done wrong or the things they've said that were wrong or the things they were planning that were wrong or their emotions or actions that they had or took you know when they couldn't control something they don't see anything wrong with what with like whatever this is here <clears throat> you know they're they're not opening their eyes to wisdom i feel like there's some sort of information right in their face or a lesson it's like information or a life lesson or some sort of wisdom is right in their face and they're refusing to open up their eyes to see what this is or to acknowledge this okay they're I'm hearing they're refusing to sacrifice or they're refusing to look at things from a different perspective. Um, or for some of you, this return to cinder is happening because they wanted you to sacrifice yourself. Okay. They wanted you to self-sacrifice. They wanted you to do the work or you to sacrifice something, you know, and you may have told this person no, or you didn't do this. Or maybe some of you told this person yes, and you did do these things and they took it for granted or they took advantage of this or something, you know, it's going to be different for different people, but they're refusing to acknowledge this situation for what it is. And they're refusing to acknowledge that everyone is having a sacrifice. But then this is somebody for some of you, this is somebody that doesn't want to work or they don't want to sacrifice or they don't want, they don't want to work or work hard or they don't want to put time, energy and effort into something. Um, for some of you, when they do put time, energy, and effort into something, it's like purely based on money. It's not based on just them being passionate about something. It's just only based on money. This is like somebody doing something just for money, not because they're passionate about it, not because it's something that they love to do or they would be doing anyways, even if they wouldn't be getting paid. This is somebody purely doing something for money or out of money. That could resonate for some of you. Because for, for a lot of you, again, you know, that four of pentacles, they were doing something because they saw dollar signs. They saw it, they thought it would like provide a new start for them or a new beginning or a new chapter for them.
So for some of you, it's like a job or a business or a project they were doing, but it was just out of greed or out of dollar signs. And for others of you, uh, when they saw you or saw someone else, you know, they saw somebody, when they saw this person, they just saw dollar signs, whether that person was you or someone else, but they're just using a job or a business or they're using you or somebody in their life for money. Not because they love that person or love what they do for a living. They just are very greedy and they don't want to have to sacrifice or they don't want to have to work themselves. We have page of pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who they want a, some sort of job or they want some sort of business or they want some sort of promotion or raise or they want some sort of money or finances here. They want this really bad. But they know they're a page. I feel like you're the queen of pentacles and this person's a page of pentacles. And it's, you know, I feel like you guys have put a lot of time, energy, effort. You've, you've sacrificed a lot to be in this Queen of Pentacles energy. You know, we all have to start somewhere. We have the Emperor. I don't know why I always think of Johnny Cash when I see this. <laughs> but my mind always goes to Johnny Cash when I see this card. Um, for some of you, this could be your own father. This could be your father. This could be a boss. This could be somebody's baby daddy. Okay. For others of you, I feel like it's a woman. And for others of you, I feel like it's this man that could be a boss or your child's father or your father or your grandfather. Or maybe for some of you, for some of you, this person was trying to use your boss or your father or your grandfather or maybe even your child's father. Maybe they were trying to use them for money, okay? I don't know. This reading could go so many different ways for different people here. I'm hearing for some of you, this is, this could even be a father, grandfather, boss, or child's father that was trying to control your money. They could have been trying to control your money, but you are embodying this queen of pentacles. So it's not like they can control your money because you're making your own money. So for some of you, this could even be a father, a child's father, a grandfather, a boss that was trying to control your money or control a financial situation regarding you or trying to put financial strings attached to you and they can't manifest this, okay? They can't manifest this because you are the queen of pinnacles. You make your own money. Or for some of you, I'm hearing your talents pay you. So for some of you, your talents, your passions pay you because she has like a keyboard or piano here, okay? And for others of you, this is a person that is like a coworker or they have, or they're doing the same thing you're doing or something, whether it's a business, a passion, a project, hobby, something, but they're doing it out of greed or for dollar signs here. For some of you, this could be more than one person, okay? I could be picking up on two different people that your return to cinder is hitting, okay? We have King of Swords, ready to bleed. Some of you could have cut this emperor out of your life, okay? Some of you definitely could have cut this emperor out of your life. Again, father, grandfather, boss, child's father, something. I feel like for a lot of you, you could have cut this person out. Or you don't really talk to them much anymore or really have anything to do with them much anymore for some of you. Or for some of you, they cut you out, okay? This emperor, if you didn't cut this emperor out, they could have cut you out, okay? 
For some of you, this could be a father or a grandfather or your child's father that cut off your finances or stopped helping you financially or something like that. But you're doing fine without them. Like, you don't need them financially. I'm seeing you're a very busy bee. Like, there's bees around this pinnacle here, on this queen of pinnacles. You, you stay busy. You stay making money, okay? You could be an earth sign. You could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that just stays busy making their money, <laughs> making their pinnacles, okay? We have these six of cups. Wow, yeah. For some of you, you walked away from your own father or your grandfather, or maybe this is your mother and her masculine energy, okay? But you walked away from whoever this is. This is somebody that's known you since you were a child and you walked away from them. For some of you, not all of you, okay? Because for others of you, this could be like a boss or something or just a coworker or somebody that does the same thing you're doing. Um, but if this is like family, this is somebody that you've walked away from. Whoever this is, like, they're going to want to reunite with you, but you're not going to want to reunite with them, okay? I feel like you guys are so scared of this person or these people being a distraction because you guys are so focused on your business and your passions that you don't need or want any type of distractions. And I feel like this person or these people would just distract you. So if they were to reunite with you or want to reunite with you, I feel like I see you giving them the cold shoulder or ign ignoring them. Whoever this is, they could bring you a gift. They could bring you money. They could bring you letters, whatever. And it, it wouldn't matter. Like this is somebody that you, I don't know. It's like, it's almost like a liability to have this person in your life, okay? So even if this person were to give you like a gift or money, because they're, this card, this card I just pulled is the three of swords. For some of you, they want to reunite with you or they want to give you money or a gift because they are heartbroken over the situation, but you're going to ignore them or give them the cold shoulder. And that is a part of the return to sender is that you don't want anything to do with this person. And if this is a work situation, you don't want to work with this person. So that is your uh, reading. Call number three. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. It helps out the channel. If you guys want, you can check out pile one and pile two if you feel drawn to. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.